Today I'm going to show you a complete beginner's guide of Rewind for iPhone. I'm going to show you some of my favorite tips, tricks, and hidden features allowing you to leave this video as a Rewind for iPhone expert. Let's get started. Be sure to check out AppFine AI for the best AI tools and apps. You can also subscribe to our newsletter using the link in the description below at appfind.ai slash newsletter and get these apps and AI tools delivered right to your inbox every week. Let's check out Rewind for iPhone. This incredible AI technology here remembers everything that you do on your iPhone when you take screenshots, when you do things in Safari, and then allows you to search back for it and have a perfect memory. It's a truly personalized AI right in your pocket, and it uses incredible technologies to be able to, you know, summarize, and you can do research, you can scroll through time, and it's really incredible. So you can click the link in the description to get your version here to load up this same page on your iPhone, and I'll go ahead and install it. We'll press this Get button, we'll authorize with Touch ID and, and Face ID here, and sign up for Rewind for iPhone. So it downloads right here onto our phone. We can check out some of the other additional features here and how it works. So our key features are instant search. You can search for everything that you've read in Safari and screenshots and it uses OCR, optical character recognition. So it remembers um, you know, the words that it sees on the page and then allows you to search for them later. You can copy and paste. You can quickly return to anything that you've seen to copy and paste from your past. So a really cool feature in Rewind is when you find something and you want to um, copy and paste it, you just tap on it and it allows you to copy and paste from that image. You can summarize content. You've got visual browsing and it's private. So it doesn't uh, actually you know, send any of your data up to the cloud or when it's actually analyzing all of this content, it's doing it right here on the phone itself without sending it to the cloud. The only time um, it authorizes cloud is when it talks to chat GPT or OpenAI's GPT technology. You can ask it questions and it can summarize things for you, but then it only summarizes content that uh, matches those search queries. And we'll take a look at what that looks like inside of the app. So let's go ahead and open it up. If you want, you can also drag it onto your home screen. You can just go over here, drag it, just slide over to your app library and you can find the rewind icon or you can search for rewind and then just drag it over to the home screen just like that. So now we have it twice. We can hold down to remove this version of it and remove from the home screen just like that. Now we have it once. And then we tap on it and it opens up just like that. So here we've got rewind, explore a visual history of your browsing activity quickly search through screenshots, text, or let personalized AI help you find it. We'll go ahead and get started. And now it's asking us and telling us how to, um, you know, import our photos and our screenshots. So in order to do this, you'll have to give Rewind permission to access your photos. So we'll hit continue. And then it pops open a dialogue from the system here with all of our photos. And you'll need to allow full access in order for this to work out. After you authorize the photos, you need to authorize the Safari extension and it has the instructions right here on screen on what to do. You'll go to settings, you'll toggle the extension on and then under permissions, tap all websites. So we'll press this button at the very bottom here that says go to settings and then keep in mind Rewind will not capture any private browsing activity. It'll only capture the tabs that are um, not private. So we'll click go to settings here. It'll take us to our extensions page under the Safari category. And then we can go ahead and tap on rewind. And then we can hit allow extension. And then we can go to all web websites right here. Um, and right now it says ask, we can hit allow. I just wanna verify that's what it wanted us to do. So from the list of options, tap allow. So right now uh, by default it's set for ask and then we wanna set it for allow so we'll go back here now all websites are selected under allow and that will allow this extension to read any web pages so as rewind is um, capturing content it can then allow you to search for it later when you're browsing things on the web so we've got this set up successfully here we've got allow on all websites and the extension is turned on and now um, this check mark right here is turned off. It does not work in private browsing, but theoretically, if you turn that on, it would have access to your private browsing. But private browsing is locked away and secure and not available um, for the Rewind app to take a look at. So we'll swipe back over here and we'll test the extension. 
and it allows us to test it. So enable the Rewind extension. The extension is enabled. Um, we've got this green uh, box right here that says enabled. So it is working. And now everything you read in Safari will be shown in a visual timeline. So now we can hit open rewind. It'll take us back to the application and take a look at it right here. It shows us um, the same page that we were looking at right here on the Safari uh, browser is now inside of rewind with this scrollable timeline here. And you can see this was just 24, 25 seconds ago and counting here. Uh, so rewind allows you to scroll back in time and see everything that you visited. And then of course, if you're comparing articles or you're looking up a, um, you know, an article that you want to learn more about or what you did, it has all of that information right here inside of the Safari um, and rewind app. So really cool i'm going to go ahead and do some browsing and then demo this um, and you'll be able to see in real time what it looks like when we use the uh, the scrolling through feature here to review things that we've previously looked at at the very bottom is the timeline inside of rewind for iphone and you can scroll just by dragging your finger left and right and now they've got two different options here it can be referencing either a screenshot which you'll see an image icon or it can be referencing things that i captured on the safari web browser which then you see the safari icon or even either the favicon of the website that you're looking at and you can come over here and we can go back in time and see three minutes ago i was checking out the app find ai website and some of the best tools to use and i can keep scrolling and i can see um, that we enabled the rewind extension six minutes ago i can keep scrolling and see another app that i took a screenshot over um, and the more content that you capture when you're using your phone and it captures things on the Safari extension, and the more screenshots you take, the better the Rewind AI personalized assistant is for you. Today's sponsor is L Gear's three in one wireless charger that lets you charge your AirPods, your Apple Watch, and your iPhone all at once, just like that. It has a nice sleek design for your desk or your nightstand, and it charges all three of your devices, your AirPods, your Apple Watch, and your iPhone all at the same time. Click the link in the description to purchase your 3-in-1 L Gear charger, and you can get it set up charging your Apple Watch, your AirPods, and your iPhone all at the same time, just like that. And it sits really nicely on your desk or your nightstand. You can get it in a black version or white version, it's really cool. You just slide on your Apple Watch just like that. You put your, your AirPods at the very bottom and your phone wirelessly attaches just like that using MagSafe technology. And it looks super sleek and really nice on your nightstand. So check it out. Use the link in the description to get your three-in-one wireless charger today from L Gear. You're able to tap into this um, and you can come over here and just scroll to review all the different projects that you've looked at, all the different screenshots that you've taken. And it makes it really easy to come in here and reference content that you previously saw and that you may not remember. And they've got a few options here. You can use this search icon to search for words that uh, you know may have come across. So we can type in app find and then it will reference every uh, screenshot in every Safari page that we visited and then allow us to find AppFind just like that. And we tap on it and it takes us exactly to where AppFind was referenced at. You can come over here and when you press the search button, there's this button in the top right called Ask Rewind. And this is where it uses um, the GPT technology here from OpenAI to analyze those screenshots or Safari history and then um, you know, help you out with any questions. So we can ask it a simple question like, what is app find? And then send this off to the chat. Um, open AI GPT-4, um, it'll analyze those screenshots, anything that matches the content, and then it'll spit out an answer. And it says, AppFind is a platform that curates and provides information about the best AI tools and apps. It offers a newsletter that can users can subscribe to in order to discover new AI tools and apps every week. And one of my favorite things about this is all the references. You can see one, two, three, four, five. It references all the different screenshots and the different places that it received this information. And of course, we were browsing on Safari earlier today, and then it was able to take in consideration of what we looked at on Safari. Um, we were looking at the app on AI website, and then it created a summary here and answered the question for me. And this, these are like two or three four good paragraphs here 
um, of data that it was able to analyze using GPT-4. So this has been a complete beginner's guide for Rewind for iPhone, where you're able to take the content that you search the web for in Safari and all the different screenshots that you capture and analyze that and use a search widget to review those contents and to ask Rewind any question. And it makes it really cool that it uses artificial intelligence and optical character image recognition to pull up any of the data that you may need when you don't remember it all the time. So anytime you want to reference something, you can come over here, you can ask Rewind, and it will pull up an answer for you. Another cool prompt that I love to use is just saying, uh, what did I do today? If you want to summarize your day, you can just hit the search box right there and it'll analyze the content that it reviewed in Safari and the content of the screenshots. And then it says today you spent exploring, you spent time exploring various AI tools and apps. You visited the app finding website and more. So it's using AI to generate this summary for us and you can use Ask Rewind to ask it almost anything about the content that you've looked at previously or the content that um, you have captured through screenshots. So whether you've looked at it through Safari or whether you've looked at it in a screenshot, it knows about it and it can reference it inside of this uh, GPT-4 widget here. So I think it's really cool that you can get started with this today using the link in the description. And of course, you can ch check out AppFine AI for the best tools, the best AI tools and apps. And of course, subscribe to our newsletter. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash a like on the YouTube section below and let us know what your favorite rewind feature is in the comments below. And if you're not subscribed, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to figure out when we release our next AI video. We love producing these for you and we can't wait to uh, you know, produce the next one. So thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.